Are you excited? Yes. We're only looking at one though. Yeah, only one today. We ideally did want to do more in one day and like more tomorrow. But we just couldn't get booked in anywhere. Like everywhere just seems to be like full of bookings at the minute or they've just not got back to me yet, which is really annoying because we're only here for the two days. Um, but I'm excited. Finally moving, finally. It's been a long time coming. We're not moving yet. Yeah, we're not moving yet, but we are definitely gonna be moving here. Okay, so we're in the first apartment building and we actually viewed quite a few apartments in this, but I think I only actually videoed two because we looked at some three beds and we looked at some two beds. Obviously, we looked at some that were furnished and some that were unfurnished. This one was furnished, but this is how you would get it. Like, this wasn't a showroom as such. Um, but as you can see, there is an ensuite in the first bedroom. I'm pretty sure there was an ensuite in every single room in the three beds. Um, but as you can see as well, the wall were really nice and big they had double doors on either side the kitchen was so nice it was so stunning and the living room area was quite spacious to be fair and um, so yes yeah, so then I'm going into the third bedroom here and yeah there was an ensuite on the side again two big double wardrobes and yeah I really did like this one then we're going into a two bed which is actually furnished so you can see it with things in obviously the other one was furnished you would get furniture that was in that but this is more like a showroom to show you how you furnish it with your own things and um, this one had a little view onto like the courtyard and um, this building like this complex was actually in one of like our top three we actually really did like this one I just think the layout the rooms were the same size the en suites the kitchen everything about it was just really nice the apartment building also had a lot of rooms that you could like hire out if you've got a big group of family or friends coming up and they also had like a gym and things like that so there was good communal areas to be able to make friends obviously it was moving to a big city that is kind of what we want to be able to do okay so we just finished up at the first apartment viewing it was really nice we saw a lot of apartments as you would have seen um i might do a little voice for her and like say like what's what about each one when it's playing you probably really want to see that if I've done that. Um, but yeah, we're just now in Pizza Express. We're gonna have some food, and then after we're just gonna go for a little walk into the centre. Uh, we are pretty close to the centre because obviously the apartment building that we just viewed was quite central. And um, we're just gonna have a little wander around, see what's about and whatever, and then we're going to Anna's after. And I'm really excited because I've not been to Anna's yet, so yeah, it should be good. Yeah, I've not been yet. Literally, she's lived there. I don't know how long. And I'm not being able to go because COVID and everything, but finally going to go. And yeah, that's all I've really got to say. We've got Margaret Pizza on the way. Do a oh, we'll straight to Anna's. I do know I would have got to get my laptop. Should we go back then? Yeah, because Callum, yeah. Callum said to go that. back. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. Just because my. I'll my, do that. Get my ooh, ooh, ooh. And... So, guys, it's been a while. And we're all going to go to Anastasia's. Yay. I thought Callum was coming then. Um, but yeah, did I talk about the apartment? I think I did, but I did it on my phone, so I need to remind myself to put that in. Um, yeah, I didn't bring my camera with us to go to the apartment just because, well, the apartment viewings, because it was a bit easier just to vlog on my phone and like film it on my phone, so that's what I did. But we're now going to go for some food at Anna's. Oh. Excited! I'm so excited to see her apartment because I've actually not seen it. Here's Callum saying hi to the vlog. Huh? It's ancient. Ancient? Yeah. What is it? Get the mess out the back. <laughs> <laughs> wow, is this Manchester's new Bon oh, Arazi? Oh, oh, <laughs> Rose, Rose frizzle in the shizzle. What are you okay? Yeah. Old fashioned. Old fashioned. Old fashioned. Vile, why have you got the camera on mate? Okay, so it's now the next day and we're viewing some more apartments. So this apartment building is actually where Byron actually lives. Um, so we obviously wanted to check this out because, you know, it'd be nice to have a neighbour that we already know. Um, we really liked like some of the rooms in this like apartment building. This had some like really cool like glass features. It has like a glass like room, glass box sort of thing. Um, it is something that I think is cool, but we also were sort of like, is that really necessary? It was kind of like taking up space that we could have used like 
for something else you know what i mean like we didn't really need the glass there but i think if you're definitely like a one person looking for just another extra room and like an office space i think it would be really cool now as you can see both of these bedrooms have an ensuite one of the ensuites is actually like a main bathroom that leads on to an ensuite as well and um, there's like two doors that you can get into i think it's that one that i've just literally shown um the rooms in this apartment building were a lot smaller as you can see i did actually struggle getting around the beds a little bit and um, so i think we did decide that this specific room for us wasn't gonna be the one just because it was a little bit too small and crammed for us we're two girls we've got a lot of stuff and um, yeah i'm going back through this bathroom again just to show you and then we had another one this one we loved a lot more we loved the big island in the middle islands are just like a dream for me and sophie we absolutely love them i want an island in my house when i'm older as you can see there's a really big storage unit in like the kitchen this is one of the first bedrooms as you can see it is on the smaller side it would obviously fit a bed in but it'd be like the last one where you kind of squeeze in around the bed a little bit which we weren't too keen on but if we had to make do with that we were sort of like mm, maybe and uh, again two on suites in them and again it does have the glass box and um, which would be really cool if you wanted like an office area like i mentioned before because then you can keep it like little like a little segregated area keep the noise out or whatever but yeah i think we sort of decided later on that this wasn't really for us and um, obviously you have freedom of like decorating and whatever in all of these apartments as well so don't be put off by like the colors or anything obviously the kitchen and the bathroom so like that you can't change but we could have changed like the wall color and stuff like that if we didn't like it so yeah that was the next one that we saw Okay, so now we're still in the same apartment building, like complex, but this is a different room in like a different block. This one was actually fully furnished, however, they were actually taking everything out because someone was moving in. So if we were to choose this one, this one would be the exact one that we were getting because someone's obviously moving into this one, but it'd be the same style on a different floor. So as you can see, there was a really nice kitchen area and obviously we've got the two bedrooms. So there's bedrooms either side. This bedroom actually didn't have an ensuite. They it was just like a normal bathroom that you could use outside but that wasn't really a problem for us as you can see it had this really cool sliding door which we actually really liked and then yeah obviously it's decorated it's a little bit of a mess because like i say they are taking everything out but this one also had a balcony this is the first one that we viewed where there was a balcony and we actually really like the idea of having a balcony as well so we can go out get some fresh air and like when our friends around this is the second room again the bedrooms are a little bit smaller but they are a little bit bigger than the ones that we'd seen previously and yeah here is the ensuite it's got a really really nice big mirror which we were a huge fan of this was like one of the first apartments in this building that we fell in love with until we saw this one so again same apartment building but this one guys honestly we thought this was going to be the one it was so nice the big open plan like living area it was huge you guys like we walked in this and we were like wow like we wanted to live in this like we were so set that we thought this is where we were going to be so this did have two en suites so this is the first room the rooms were a little bit small but we fell so in love with the living area that we were like we can we can deal with this um, but yeah this toilet is actually the one that, that links to the outside as well so you can get into this toilet in two ways and yeah and back around to the beginning around to the kitchen near the door area and um, yeah the kitchen was obviously a little bit smaller because it was like back to back facing here's me and Zoe just both filming everything at the same time um, and then this was the other room this room was actually smaller than the other one as well which we weren't too keen on the fact that the rooms were different sizes but we really thought that this was going to be the one again on suites we actually preferred these on suites as well because they were a lot lighter okay so then we did actually get chance to view another apartment building so this is a different building to the previous one again this one had two bedrooms one with an ensuite one without so it was just a normal bathroom in like the hallway but that again wasn't a problem for us this kitchen area was absolutely stunning this one also did have a balcony and the rooms as you can see are a little bit bigger than the previous one that we just looked in i feel like they were bigger anyway i'm not really too sure i feel like that's maybe because 
you can see the bed in there obviously the last one that we saw you couldn't really see the bed in all of them and um, this is the room with the ensuite so this room is actually I think slightly a little bit bigger or just like the layout of it makes it seem a little bit bigger and um, bathrooms are basically the same so the ensuite is the same as obviously the normal bathroom and then this is another style in the same apartment building so this room they just set up as an office but obviously you could use it as a bedroom which is what we would be doing this one we preferred a lot more because there was more big open windows we thought like the last one in this building that we viewed was a little bit too dark and gloomy for us there wasn't that much light even though there was a massive like door and window it did seem quite like dark and gloomy uh, but yeah again same style same like decorations and everything the bedroom sizes is the same I think the bathrooms are actually different in this one um, here's me <laughs> uh, so yeah I like the tiles and I, we like the bathrooms and everything however this apartment building just really didn't hit the nail on the head like some of the others that we'd seen already so we sort of already knew this one wasn't really gonna be for us we've come for food it's the next day guys I haven't actually talked in the vlog today but look how good this pasta looks it's like pulled chicken with like tomato and basil so I'm very excited so the next apartment building that we viewed is actually where Anna lives and where Haz and Byron used to live. So a few of you guys might recognise some of these rooms if you do watch them. As you can see, the first room I went into was the first like main bathroom. This apartment building doesn't have two en suites. It's one room with an en suite, one room without. This room that I'm in is like the main like master bedroom. So this room is a bit bigger and it does have the ensuite. The ensuite is actually quite dark. Um, I personally did like that. I didn't hate it or whatever. And it does have obviously built in wardrobes. And then we come into the next room. And as you can see, the next room is quite a bit smaller, which is what put us off wanting to be in this apartment building. But then we do have the really big and well-known kitchen living area literally it's just wow unbelievable we absolutely love it then we viewed another two bed in the same building but in a different style so again the actual rooms and like decor is the same so the bathroom was the same this one has an ensuite but you can see how the room is a bit smaller and it doesn't extend down the side into the ensuite so the wardrobe is actually behind the door of the bathroom again it's still a dark bathroom and then you come into the next room and you can see that the room is a very similar size it just obviously doesn't have the ensuite and then you come into the living area and the living area is a lot smaller and um, it's a lot more like central you just got one window which we did like but we do prefer the big island the big open kitchen living area the view however was still really nice then we actually went ahead and looked at a three bed to see what the space would be like as obviously it means that we were debating between two and three beds throughout this whole process. As you can see the first room really really nice and big as you can see this one was fully furnished. This is like a showroom to show you what it would look like. The wardrobe was on the side which we actually really liked. It didn't have that long extension sort of like walking wardrobe feel. It was just the wardrobe at the side. Again the ensuite was like dark. Then we had two rooms, so this was one of the first rooms. This room seems smaller than the next room that you're gonna see, and I think it is slightly smaller by like a fraction, but they're about the same size as the two beds. Then we have a bathroom again here, nice big bathroom. Pretty sure this was only a two bathroom with the ensuite and then this. And then this was the next room. Obviously they didn't have a bed in this, but this room did feel a lot bigger. Now I don't know if that was just because there was no bed in there or if it was actually slightly bigger. When I looked at the floor pan, it did seem like it was a tad bigger. And then you come into the kitchen living area and again, oh my God, you guys, we just love the big like open plan big kitchen with the island and we much preferred like the lighter colour like the lighter colour with the brown uh, so yeah we absolutely love this but we're now in a different apartment building so I need to stop talking about that and um, this one I can't even remember what this one was and um, but we did like but we did realize it just wasn't for us. It was quite spacious. The rooms were an all right size. Um, the furniture, however, that it came with, we weren't the massive fan of. Um, this was like very white and plain, we noticed as well, whereas a lot of the others had a lot more like color, which I mean, we're all for like a white 
apartment like we do love white but I think the little hints of colour in the other ones just won, won us over a little bit more um, this kind of gave me sort of like a hotel vibe um, in the bathroom I don't know why but yeah this one was okay it just wasn't our favourite um, this one actually did have a balcony as well which I'll soon pan around to but as you can see the kitchen was just like very white and just sort of plain we liked how some of the other kitchens had a little bit more colour to them um, but yeah balcony here this one obviously was quite high i cannot tell you oh my god getting on this balcony i didn't think i would be scared but i actually was then we saw this one this one we much preferred to the last one that we've just seen in this apartment complex it was still again the same like white walls absolutely everywhere this one did have a balcony as well which we did really like uh, but again it was just the furniture wasn't really for us so we could obviously get it unfurnished but then it would be a lot more money and like hassle for us to buy new things especially because once me and Zoe move out from each other we'll be getting like our own places and our own houses so it's like how do we split things and like where do we take them and yeah it was just a bit we didn't really know what we we're gonna do and um, then the next one that we actually saw was like a little townhouse this one was really cool and as much as we loved this one and we sort of could imagine ourselves being in it it just didn't feel right being in a little townhouse in Manchester I don't know what it was being in a townhouse also meant that we we're obviously on like the bottom floor so the views weren't exactly the best and as you can see from this window all we were viewing was literally a street so it wasn't the best in terms of views and again this was a like house that had just a normal bathroom and then an ensuite and the bathroom and everything was pretty much the same so right here you can see we're heading it down the stairs because like I said it's a little townhouse so it does have two floors we which we did think was really cool do not get me wrong we absolutely love the idea of this there was just other apartments that were like winning it for us it's just the boring utility bit but then again it did have a really nice big like open plan kitchen living area not as big as some of the others but we preferred this to the other layouts that we'd seen and it did have like a little outside area but as you can see the view just wasn't very nice okay so then the next one as you can see was so nice again it was very plain and white there's such a different apartment building but we did we actually really like these rooms and like the layouts and everything however the actual building really let this one down for us like when you were walking through the corridor it honestly felt like you were staying in like an ibis budget hotel and now do not get me wrong there is nothing wrong with an ibis budget hotel i love staying in them for cheap cheerful whatever but it just didn't give that home vibe that we wanted uh, so yeah it wasn't one of our favorites and unfortunately we obviously didn't go with that one but in terms of like the room sizes and everything like that it was actually decent and there was an ensuite and a normal bathroom and yeah it was just a shame that the building let this one down really okay so then the next one was actually one of our top faves as well uh, this apartment building oh my god it was just so good it came with a gym it came with communal areas the furniture and everything that was provided was really high quality and like bespoke it was so nice definitely our vibe the bedroom sizes were really good as well pretty even this was a two bed that we viewed and we absolutely loved it we've got the big wardrobes you've got two on suites in this one so we would have our own um, bathrooms the kitchen and living area was really nice as well as you can see like the furniture is just wow incredible and um, yeah this is the other room as you can see the bed really really nice you can also fit a desk in here if you wanted to got the wardrobes again and you've got the bathroom so yeah we absolutely love this one okay so that was all the apartments that we viewed i say that there is actually one other that i didn't include but the reason i didn't include it is because that one we actually have requested to reserve so obviously it isn't ours yet we don't know if we're gonna get it but we have put a request in to reserve it so at this moment in time as it stands that is the one that we want and until we find out if we can have it or not it's going to be a secret and i didn't want to include it in this video because i didn't want it to go spoiled before we actually were able to like get it or whatever and like i wanted our apartment to like actually not be in this and just where we can give you an apartment tour when we're there or you know i actually have like a video of it anyway um and you guys can then see what it will look like and like see it in like our own style because obviously when we filmed some of the rooms they already come furnished but they don't come 
exactly how it comes in the video because obviously they put like pictures and stuff on the walls but not everyone wants pictures on the walls and stuff so yeah so there is one that hasn't been included like i said because we do want that one but obviously we don't know at this moment in time if we have it or not so as soon as we know we obviously will tell you guys and the big moving process will begin but we are so excited we honestly have wanted this for so long and i just want to take a moment as well to thank you guys so much for all your support without you guys i literally wouldn't be able to be doing this right now like I honestly cannot put into words how grateful I am for you guys literally I've done this job for six years and I just never ever thought when I first started out doing YouTube that this is where I would end up and this is what I'd be able to do with my time and with my money um but here we are and yeah I'm so excited honestly cannot wait to get there cannot wait to be living in the same city as all my best friends and just creating more and more content and yeah just being in a really good headspace being really motivated and yeah i mean that's all down to you guys so thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart but yeah do keep your eyes peeled keep your eyes peeled on my instagram twitter um tiktok whatever you name it because i might actually put things on there before I put things on YouTube so if you do want to stay up to date do follow me on all my social medias it is at the end uh, but yeah for now that's everything and I will see you very very soon with another video bye <laughs>